What's going on guys? This is Spontaneity. I'm the spontaneous one. And I'm the ingenuity person. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another hot sauce challenge. It's the uh, outdoor hot, hot sauce, sauce challenge, challenge from Apex Trading Co. or company. Yes. Um, we have some fun flavors here. We have... They're not on the back. Angel's right. Garlic, Campfire Chipotle, and Trailblazing Habanero. That says Angler's Garlic, but... Okay. They're, they're on the back. Okay, let's open this up. We have our base food, a dry chicken sandwich. Unfortunately, I... All of these are no lettuce, no mayo, just so we can get the most flavor out of this and see how much we die from these hot sauces. And I just ripped the package. Well, but we could at least try and save the bag, because there are some interesting looking, uh... Oh, yeah, no. Baked uh, vegetables, hep... What the... Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. That does not look like a... That was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, the garlic popped. There. We have a slight mess on aisle four. Yep, the garlic one? Yeah, it's garlic. I can tell by smell. Ah, it's fine. See, we just clean off, and it's perfectly fine. Why was why did, why did it? I think it's because it was cold. This stayed in my car for like a few days, so the seal might have broken. It's been aged. It's been aged well, like a fine Gruyere cheese. I actually like Gruyere. Okay, so a fine wine. Gonna take out the chicken sandwich. And which one do you think is going to be the best to start with? The... Shackles. Uh, let's do Campfire Chipotle last. Well, Maybe which, garlic What first? order did they come in? This order. Unless you ordered not order. Okay, we'll start off with the garlic. So again, we have the classic <laughs> chicken sandwich from McDonald's. Oh, I love McDonald's. And let's open up the garlic. Oh my gosh, this might be actually... I didn't break it. Just, just pull. smell this. Oh, it's wow. a strong garlic. Uh. Now, holy crap! Don't there. <laughs> don't drown yourself. Well, no, it's gonna be enough to cover the sandwich. Also, if you guys want to see more eating challenge videos or like us doing like bigger challenge videos, mm -hmm. tell us what you want us to do. Leave a like. Subscribe. Tell us stuff. One thing we will not do, Tide Pod Challenge. Yeah, that's not happening. I mean, if they request enough, we can make a candy tri uh, Tide Pod. Yeah. But Gushers! It's not, not going to be an actual Tide Pod. We'll make Gusher Tide Pods. That's um, a great idea. So, ready? Did you get that one thing I sent you? We'll talk about that later. Um, so, yeah. We, we have it on the, the sandwich. It's gonna be interesting. Ready? Should be an opening. You can smell the garlic. It actually smells really good. You could probably smell it from the camera. Three, two, two one. one. Show your bite size. He has a big mouth. Yes, I do. I don't know if I have enough on here. Um, I do. I can taste the spice. Mmm. Mmm. Our palate cleanser slash drink. We're both drinking Coke. Unfortunately, I don't have apple juice. But it is what it is. That yes, I know. Coke hurts spice. Like, if you have spice in your mouth, the acidity of any soda is going to hurt. But it's Coke. And it's good. If we need emergency water, we'll run and grab emergency water. Coke is the second best drink only to apple juice. Hmm. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I eat it upside down. You can laugh at me, but that's actual science. Here's my ingenuity to Bro, think of the day. I eat upside down. The ba based on how you eat things, 
is it when how it is based on when you'll taste things. So like, there's an actual science to how people like how uh, burger companies make the burgers and whatnot because typically they will have the reason why they have the meats on the bottom is because they want they, their signature thing is the meats and they want that flavor to to get to the tongue first. So they'll base it off of that. Typically, they'll put the pickles right on the uh, meat because the acidity. the acidity binds with the uh, meat better than, like, say, lettuce or ketchup does. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm preparing the next one while he's still eating. Um, my spontaneous fact of the day, um, each burger has three components. They have the bun, the meat, and the acid. Past that, you can have whatever options you want, but that is how you make a per like a true burger. So the acid could be like pickles or mustard or some type of vinegar. The bun um, specified has to be two different slices of bread of your choice. Uh, so actual like bread that you get in 12 slices can be a burger bun and then some form of meat. So um, the preferred is um, beef. Chicken cannot be a part of a, a, a burger, but it could be a sandwich. There's a difference, and if we were more technologically YouTube knowledgeable, we like show an article right here, but we're not that smart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, not the spiciest. I actually liked the flavor overall. They got a good flavor. I think it would be better if it had lettuce and mayo. He's gonna complain about this all. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I think that would be that would actually bind well with the original sandwich. I disagree for the fact of we wouldn't be able to taste it as no, I'm much saying or at all. If you were to just add it to yeah, it. Yeah, but we wouldn't be able to really taste it. You say you down it. <coughs> That's a bad well then he is a wuss with the spices, but it just hit a note on my Yeah. <laughs> this is habanero. He's got COVID. He can't smell anything. I, I don't have COVID. I just can't. I'm, I'm going to snort the uh, habanero. That's Ooh, the next me. challenge video. That's a bad thing about Snorting hot sauce. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> this one scares me. Because I know I have a horrible history with habanero. Now, I'm still drizzling it pretty strongly. Like, it's not as strong as the uh, garlic because it's a more depth flavor. Not in depth, a stronger flavor. But I'm still have a lot on here. I'm even pressing on the bun so you can see it's oh covering. My God. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> you poured way too much directly on the bun. So this is the trailblazing habanero. It's gonna make our trails blaze. <laughs> if you don't get that joke, I'm sorry. It's just pretty my. bad. <laughs> We're gonna be having a hot streak out of somewhere. Hopefully it's <laughs> cow diarrhea. Hopefully it's south instead of <laughs> north cow diarrhea. Mm -hmm. I, I told him a definition of word earlier today, and the direct definition of a word we're not allowed <laughs> to say is cow diarrhea. Explosive cow diarrhea. Explosive, yes, yeah, specifically explosive. So if someone ever calls you a something stain, <laughs> it's explosive cow diarrhea stained. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try right okay. this one. Three. Wait, now, you eat it like this? With the bun on top? I eat bun on bottom. Because usually the top bun is thicker, so it doesn't break apart as easily. That's just mm -hmm. how I eat it. Three, two, one. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I don't like deep throating my burger. Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're allowed to say that. They, I mean, it happens with bananas and subway Stop sandwiches. Stop right now. <laughs> I mean, how do you think people get... Stop. Well, let me finish my sentence. Well, how do you think people win, like, food eating competitions? They basically just, like, hot dog eating competitions. They just basically deep throat the hot dog. You should have stopped earlier. <laughs> We're gonna go demonetize. Would you like me to take a bigger bite? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I can taste the sauce now. Mm-hmm. Why do you think I've been taking big bites? I don't think you're supposed to do <laughs> the whole damn sandwich. Oh, foot. Sorry, dang it. <sighs> He's bad at slip-ups. You are too sometimes. Not, not during videos. Ah, uh, holy cow! So yeah, I'm not um, fun fact: if you eat bigger mouthfuls of things, you'll taste more strength and flavors. When you take like little sips of a drink, the flavor will actually be different than if you take a long drink. That's same with how big your bites are. If you take little bites, <coughs> it's the flavor will be worse than if you take a big bite. Because the flavors will be stronger. I don't, I don't know about that. Because like, if you take, it's like taking things to smaller quantities, mm -hmm. so it won't be as bad. So like, take a take a small sip. This is already hurting my stomach, bud. The fact that we're take adding a small sip, smaller. Okay, now take a big sip. The flavors are different. Tastes the same to me. Yeah, his palate is not as good. It's just, just, yeah. it's just fine. Oh. This is definitely spicier. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if I like this one as much as I like the garlic one. I'm not a very big fan of habanero in the first place. Agreed. Mm. No last bite hurts. <coughs> they put two stickers on one. I'm having a rumble in the jungle. Mm-hmm. Personally, I would actually use the garlic for, like, me just oh, eating no. food. The habanero... I don't think I'm going to eat again. Unless you guys want us to. Oh, no. Yeah, that's why we saved it for last. I might use some garlic after this, just to... to counteract? Yep. Why are you shaking it? God, get out and mix in them, all them flavors. No, 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 no. You don't... Sh Another fun fact of the day. <sighs> um, oh, excuse me, sorry. Liquids like ketchup will eventually separate. Um, because they don't truly combine together. So, that is why there's, like, liquid... On the top. Um, that's not ketchup. Well, it's ketchup, but it's the vinegar. How does ketchup have vinegar in it? Yeah. That maybe. Hmm. Because I thought it was like this. I wouldn't see ketchup mm -hmm. having vinegar in it because it's like the sweeter sauce, I guess. Vinegar can be sweet. I never had sweet vinegar. Oh my I gosh. think the whole idea of having vinegar is that it's not sweet. Well, it's acidic, and acids can be sweet. Oh, I already have the burps. This is regrettable. That could be due to the Coke, which hot sauce and Coke is not a good combination. <laughs> no, I said that earlier. We're dumb be, for that. We're going to be burping at fire. <laughs> well, also, the acid in Coke does not neutralize the flavor. Now I'm going to pick up your trash. You know what would neutralize the flavor? Apple juice. Um... Because it'd be I'm, refer I'm referencing another channel, Game Theory, uh, prove that um, things with high sugar, high calcium, not calcium, uh, what's, what's in a, um, milk? Calcium. Oh, yeah. Things with high sugar, high calcium, and are cold actually help. Plus uh, acids, but acid's not as strong on that list. You're going to have to forgive me on the burping thing. I'm okay, sorry. some of the chickens that they put on the patties are sad. Like this, that's kind of sad. This is some weird looking chicken. They're hearts! I love you. Uh-huh. He hates me right now. Ugh. Oh my gosh. It almost looks like teriyaki sauce. It looks like Argentina. <laughs> it looks like Argentina. <laughs> I'm talking about the liquid. Or my kidneys. Nope. Nope. This looks... This, that. More like Argentina. I like. I like, like to say lungs. Heart. Is this what lungs look like? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. Chicken lungs. Um. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna tell myself that this is a uh, teriyaki sauce. We're, we're, we're drinking chocolate. Teriyaki sauce. 
Um, Do you think it's old? Or no, 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 a little more. Like I, I doused it. That should be good. Double, double what you did originally. You're wanting to poop. <laughs> it's running off yours. Oh god. That's why you apply it to the chicken first. What's that? Teriyaki hoisin sauce. sauce? <laughs> this no. is hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce is thicker. Oh, we talk a lot about food because I like to cook and he likes to eat my cooking. Because mm-hmm. somehow me being spontaneous makes me a good cook. Well, I mean, think I, about, I throw random things together. Think about your like the uh, stereotypical uh, family dynamic where mom just like makes random things and the family sometimes loves it and sometimes doesn't. Hey, you've not had something that I've made that you disliked. That wasn't a joke, because I've given him joke foods before. Like, my ramen is fire. We, we might do a recipe. Like, <laughs> call, call a student <laughs> recipe for ramen. Oh, the bottles are, like, right in front of you. Yeah, you don't need to see my ugly mug. That's fine. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I forgot how to count. I'm sticking to I'm sticking to my small bites because last time it hurt. Mm-hmm. I can smell it. Mm. You know, if we ever get big, you know, there's that one channel on Snapchat where the the guy this one person talks to the person while they're e- eating hot sauce and it gra- gradually gets hotter and hotter. That would be a great video. The great hot thing. ones. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's also YouTube and maybe something else. Hmm. He originally was on YouTube. Just <coughs> 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 and it was on that day. <coughs> that the spontaneous sauce. And the, spontan- <coughs> this, the spontaneous one passed away. Due to that it. did not help it, but the sugar was nice. Do do a, you know what's a good thing we didn't do? Hmm. Get the spicy make chicken. Ooh, like, are those chicken nuggets strictly or are they the chicken sandwiches? Mm-mm. This isn't, I don't think I don't think this is that bad. <clears throat> I think I like Chipotle better because it has a smokier flavor and I like smoky. There's more. <coughs> I don't like habanero for the smell. For a second there, you were as red as your shirt. <laughs> you could bite me. <laughs> I don't know if we should say that. Huh? I don't know if we should, we should say that. It's like fight me, but bite me. It almost tastes like mustard. What kind of nasty mustard do you eat? The spicy brown kind? And there's actually, it's called Dijon mustard. It's no, that's the sweet mustard. No, that's honey mustard. Mm-hmm. Dijon mustard is the spicy brown. Honey Dijon. No, it's Dijon mustard is spicy. Dijon. 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 You don't, Dijon, there's Dijon. Yes, Dijon mustard. There's no vowel. Okay, tell us who's right. There. Ready? I bet I can finish this in one bite. I bet you could too. Oh, fight me. You got a big mouth. Or you just cut it in half. And you still got a big mouth to put it all in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my point's not ill-proven. You still made my point. Right. <laughs> oh, tell me, does this smell like poor form? <laughs> I think that's a wrap, guys and girls. Just like popcorn! <laughs> um, I don't know. I think my favorite is probably this. The, you're out of favorite. Yeah. This one? My favorite was the garlic. I oh, think we I can both one. agree that this one was... That's horrible. I'm, I imagine if it was with something else and it was like, maybe jambalaya. That might be good. I don't know if you guys know what jambalaya is, but it's like a New Orleans... It's a Cajun-style yeah. meal. Yeah, with um, rice and... I would, use, I would use this a lot. This one... I don't like... This one was definitely the worst, because... 
<clears throat> I just all around hate it. Yeah. I don't think it's good. I don't like Arvin. I don't like habanero. Habanero is so bad. Anything else you want to say? Not think that's about it. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> mm.